percentage of income, so it's not exactly what you're looking for, but the idea here is it's less distortionary, and so it's supposed to be better for the economy. Now, this is terrible for income inequality, because we have progressive tax systems uh, for a reason. It's, it's because we don't want, you know, those top levels of wealth sort of capturing so much of the, you know, I guess of the, the influence or the, you know, the... Um, the well-being in, in the country. Uh, but I am actually implementing one of these, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to successively remove some of these other taxes from my economy. Um, right now, I've got a $63 billion surplus, which is fantastic, but everybody's going to hate me. So, uh, debt protection law, debt collection agencies have been in the new... I, I didn't do a good job of explaining flat taxes, but you'll see what I'm going to be doing in a second. Uh, sorry, just one second. Oh, cool. Sorry, I thought the stream just went dead, so... Black Dahlia, how's it going? Good to see you again. Uh, Black Dahlia is another member of Team Panda. Let me give him a shout-out. So uh, I actually got to play Men at, War, uh, Men at War 2 Assault Squad with Black Dahlia. Last night, I believe, there's a VOD. And uh, I don't know, we had, we had some good fun. I definitely got to play a very different character from what I do here. But Black Dahlia is somebody who's actually put a lot of effort into promoting this channel. He is what, uh, he's actually the reason why we got past the 100 viewer mark, or 100 follower mark. And, oh, Men of War. Um, Men of War 2 Assault Squadron. Uh, he's one of the people who got us past the 100 follower mark. So somebody who's definitely put a lot into making this uh, this channel look the way that it is. So, deck agencies have been in the news for the use of aggressive methods that they... Sorry, for the aggressive, aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger and more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. I can... Yeah, I'll definitely want to play some more uh, men, at war. men of War. Let's work out a time. Hopefully we can get uh, we can get some more people involved as well. So, But uh, I'll send you a message on Slack and we can sort out the next time we, we play that. So limit agency activity. These agencies are preying on the weakest and poorest in our society, often tricking them into borrowing money at exorbitant rates that can never be repaid. This is a little more than extortion and government should act at once to severely limit the activities of such unscrupulous companies. Or allow agencies to operate. Nobody forces people to borrow money they can't repay, and restrict the rights of, uh, to restrict the rights of debt agencies to recover legitimate debts would be counterproductive. People need to learn to live within their means and not expect the state to bail them out uh, of trouble if they cannot learn to do so. Yeah, not a problem, Dahlia. Have a good sleep if I don't talk to you before then. Uh, now, in this case, because I did just introduce a really regressive policy, I am going to limit agency activity just so I don't radicalize the poor. And we're uh, to obviously took a huge hit in the polls because we're taxing the people at ridiculous rates right now. Doing really well for income, but I need to I need to find some balance here. So um, I can start by eliminating the income tax completely. Actually, what I prefer to do is raise, so let me just uh, write down some of this here. What I'd prefer to do is actually eliminate all the taxes that I can and just roll them straight into the flat income tax, which was my what I was originally going to do when I implemented it, but unfortunately I hit the X a little too soon. So I got 6 billion... Well, I'll say 5 billion actually. So I eliminate the income tax, and I've got 5 billion to play with. And then I need 12 for sales, 11 for corporation, 4 for property, 3 for capital gains. Oh, this is income. Oh, yeah, no, this is exactly what it should be. Okay, I know how I'm going to handle this actually. So 
So let's start by canceling the income tax. And I also want to see what's going to cost me to introduce a... Uh, actually, let's introduce recreational drugs tax. What's it going to take me? We'll do plastic bag tax as well. And for a carbon tax, it's going to take me 39 political capital. So for the rest of this, I'm just going to wind up making small changes again. We'll do small business startup campaigns so we turn our country capitalist. I also need to figure a way of how to reduce um, religion in my country without seeming like without making it obvious. Okay, there's nothing else I can do, so we'll go next turn. So antisocial behavior has ended, and we've got a rail strike now, so I'm going to have to put some money towards uh, the rails, I suspect. Power lines. Angry citizens are protesting the, against the project to build power lines through their villages. These power lines are necessary to further increase the use of renewable energy sources. Not building them would be an economic setback. But if you ignore the citizens, this will make them even angrier and supportive of their cause. Build the power lines anyway. Nobody wants power lines next to their houses, but they have to be built somewhere. And until recently, these people have been demanding more clean energy. The power lines will be built or stop construction. There are alternative ways to explore, like underground power lines... Uh, and there are claims that the health of those living near power lines may be in danger. It's better to be safe than sorry. Build the power lines anyway. Okay, so we've got some... Ah! I need to remember these menus again. So it looks like we do actually have a minor security threat. Um, so what I'm going to do here... I think I'm going to save up for my carbon tax and do some pretty extreme policies after that. Celebrity endorsement, again, doing really well for the budget. We've ended vigilante mobs, and it looks like we're actually improving in the polls. Okay, so the cause of the rail strike is lack of rail subsidies. So I'm okay throwing some money to them, actually. Yeah, let's max that out. Let's introduce a carbon tax. I think I'm actually just going to do a flat rate here. And basically what I'm going to use here is for my carbon tax, I'm going to use that to soak up all of these other taxes. So I'm going to get rid of the corporate taxes and things like that, and I'm going to maximize the sin taxes like alcohol and smoking. Introduce compulsory foreign language classes to lower some of the racial tension. And this is just because I'm not going to be able to take on religion right away. Um, and so one of the ways that I'll do that is to... I'm basically going to start trying to change the views of society so that some of these externalities, like these armed religious communities, uh, I'm going to start taking them out. I'm going to start kind of hollowing them out by causing a larger social shift in terms of the way that people are thinking. Like, obviously, if you know foreign languages, if you're interacting with people of different cultures a little bit more often, then you're going to be, you're going to find it harder to, to hold those intolerant views. Positive discrimination. There are calls for a law to expressively set quotas uh, for employment by eth for ethnic and other minorities by large corporations and government institutions. This would put pressure on companies to give higher priority uh, to some job candidates uh, than others on the basis of their race, sex, or age. We need this law in economic terms. It makes no sense for people below or above a certain age to be rendered unemployable. Also, in human rights terms, this is much needed comp uh, compensation for years of discrimination in the workplace against ethnic minorities, women, the elderly, and the disabled. Uh, or reject the law. This is a deeply flawed law. It makes no sense to fight discrimination by using discrimination. It creates two problems, that of minority members who feel they have not yet achieved the position on merit, and the resentment of potential employee who has denied the job. I don't believe in equality in this society. Okay. So, let's get rid of the sales tax. 
that was 11 billion that I lost in revenues. This gave me 21, so I've got 10 billion that I can play with. So let's remove corporate tax. Oh, I can't remove corporate taxes yet. Can I... Usually I can get away giving money to people, but let's implement some more of these social issues. Uh, compulsory school sports. Again, raising the health of the... Raising the health of the population. And... I'm not going to do any of those other ones. Toxic waste dump. A proposal has been put forward to construct a major toxic waste dump in our country. The facility will be very large, potentially creating many jobs in construction, but there are concerns about the effects on the environment. Uh, let's prevent the construction, actually, because I think we are going to be doing okay for economy stuff. Um, so let's start with eliminating corporate taxes. And I have no more political capital, so... Oh, capitalist I just got rid of your taxes! <laughs> Our intelligence network has identified potentially serious plot by a number of wealthy industrialists to force uh, the overthrow of our government. The plot seems to be in the early stages, but we are not in position, to, uh, and we are not in position to make arrests yet. Uh, but it is clear that some capitalists consider it desirable to engineer a replacement for the current government, and you should be cautious. Um, I want to keep the plastic bag tax, but what other taxes can we get rid of? I'm happy getting rid of tax capital gains. Um, can't cancel it. I want to keep junk food and... Yeah, I don't really want to lose any of these other ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting some money towards science funding. I'm actually going to do as much as I can as far as uh, increasing the funding to uh, education. Because in the end that's going to improve productivity and that will improve GDP. Great to have you here digging straight down. We'll see you next time. Probably we'll be done the uh we'll probably be done the stream for a while, but we'll see you next time around and we will play uh play something new. Have a good night. So yeah, what I want to do uh this time around is basically put as much investment as I can inside of uh, education and technology to raise my GDP. Okay, but I'm running out of political capital, so we'll see what the we'll see whether or not capitalists try to kill me in the next couple of turns. Yeah, I know my popularity popularity is hitting rock bottom, but I got a plan. Religious plot. Okay, we're screwed. Our security services have been watching a group of extre religious extremists known as the Crusaders of the Lord for some time. And the recent statements of their leader has given us some cause for concern. The organization has become more militant, often advocating violence and direct attacks against enemies of God, specifically your government. We believe this represents a material threat to our security, and we should keep a close watch on them. So what I need to do here is find ways of de-radicalizing these different groups. Now, we're at 38%, so we're actually doing okay as far as the election is concerned. Like, we're going to have some... We're at the middle of the term, so I, I just need to, to push things a little bit further, and I should get people on side. Um, sign a test ban treating. So I need to throw a bone to the religious groups.
Yeah, religious plots are, are basically a guaranteed way for me to die. Let's actually start. And you'll notice that I almost never look at uh, opinion polls. <laughs> this time I have to. Oh, actually, this is the wrong way of doing this. So, they don't like our stance on the abortion laws. Let's just lower this by one for two doctors' approval. But what I need to start doing now is playing the numbers game. So I need to either appeal to socialists, liberals... I've actually just hurt my support with liberals through that... Uh, through that abortion law change. So I need to play to environmentalists. I can't really do a lot about socialists. Well, conservatives will... Okay, so I might make up some of the losses in terms of the conservatives. What can I do to make the middle incomes happy? So they don't like flat income tax. They don't like inheritance tax. They do like the welfare fraud department. They don't like homelessness. Okay, so the reason I'm lowering faith school, school subsidies, one of the problems here is it's going to... <clears throat> it's going to make me less popular amongst the religious. I think that's still going to be, be offset by the change in the abortion laws that I've done. But what I want to do here is I actually want to starve religious membership. So by lowering that... Oh, I don't have enough political capital. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, what can I do to make middle-income people happy? I can get rid of property taxes. Okay, next turn. Ta! All right. Today is a dark day for democracy, as a group of religious extremists calling themselves the Crusaders of the Lord succeeded in assassinating the democratically elected ruler of this country. A combined attack involving half a dozen gunmen, a powerful car bomb, overwhelmed the security services, and at a recent public speaking event, 12 people died, including you. Game over. On that bombshell, I'm taking my break. I will see you all in about two minutes. Actually, Yeah, you know what? I'll just stick with the assassination music. All right. Enjoy my death scene. See you guys in a couple minutes.
No, oh, no music. All right. Let's do that again. <laughs> uh, what are you guys thinking? Should we do um, Canada again? Yeah, the funny thing about that one was I failed to appreciate what changing the same-sex marriage law would um, would do to the religious groups. So I wound up radicalizing them a little bit sooner than I anticipated. I was focusing more about trying to keep the capitalists happy. But um, I can do Canada again. But if anybody wants a different country in chat, just uh, let me know. All right, I'm not seeing anything, so I'm gonna... The conservatives, eh? <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna be employing a lot of the same strategies as last time. So what I'm gonna do here is play around with my road laws a little bit. Whoa, 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 don't... Change school buses, change um, road maintenance. I can never remember. Okay, so we're 3.4 to. Seven. So I got about two and a half. Uh, two and a half billion to play with. Let's crank up the total. Oh, not enough political capital. All right. So again, this is mostly just to deal with environment and just generally get people off the roads as much as I can. Agency activity. And at this point, I'm actually going to start doing all of these social oriented uh, programs before. before I consider any of my uh, tax policies. Okay, so armed religious... Climate Change Protocol. The United Nations Climate Change Conference has signed a new protocol to limit the emission of greenhouse gases in industrialized countries. The country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain in order not to put too much strain on the economy. Still, ratifying the protocol can be costly, limiting GDP growth and worker productivity. On the other hand, experts claim that this is the only way to save the environment. Do we ratify the protocol? Yes. Okay, so let's... We've got these uh, religious communities coming up again, so let's just roll back those faith school subsidies. It's going to save me a bit of money too, so. And we'll implement a junk food tax. If we can't implement the subsidies afterwards, which we can't, that's fine, because that just means more revenue for us. Yeah, religious condemnation, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> If the religious becomes too big of a problem, then we will uh, we'll make changes to the abortion laws again. Okay. Let's do recreational drugs tax.
Again, I'm trying to orient uh, a lot of this around long-term shifts in the in the country. Royal Scandal. A prominent member of the royal family has unfortunately made a comment that we can consider racist if taken out of context. The comment was overheard by press photographers and is causing a scandal. How will your government react? We can support the monarch. Nobody expects the government of the day to openly criticize the monarch. It would likely lead to major constitutional difficulties and we consider deeply unpatriotic. We could issue a statement to the effect that the phrase was taken out of context, was off the record, and clearly does not represent the views of the royal family. Or, we can criticize the monarch, how can we possibly stand by and let this happen without comment? Nobody expects the government to call for the royal family's abolition, but it would be a very least a strongly worded statement to the effect that such comments are unhelpful and out of step with the times would be appropriate, regardless of what the royalist or patriot might think. Absolutely, we're criticizing the monarch because we do not want to embolden uh, these... <laughs> We've got problems with crime already, I don't want to be emboldening any further racial tension. Oh, here's a good, good one. In compulsory work for the unemployed. It's going to make me shockingly unpopular, but... Antisocial behaviors at the end. Appoint a UN ambassador. Our ambassador to the UN retires this year, and we need to name a successor as soon as possible. Much will be made of whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks up for the country, uh, or someone who is able to compromise. We can appoint Brooklyn Chan... Look, in the Chan is a well-known patriot who will fight tooth and claw to get our interests represented in the UN. Seen as a popular choice amongst the patriotic and conservative citizens, she is historically against foreign aid and a supporter of import tariffs. She is not popular interna internationally. Or we can appoint Frederick Belanger. Frederick Belanger is a popular figure on the international stage with a reputation for solving difficult problems through compromise and understanding. A true internationalist, he is popular with liberals and socialists in our society as well as foreign leaders. We'll go for him, but I have a feeling that the Liberals and the Socialists will not be supporting me on Election Day. So, I haven't upset the apple cart as far as extremist groups are concerned yet. So, let, now is the time for me to reshuffle my cabinet and introduce this flat tax. Again, I want a superstar for my tax policy so I can get that implemented as soon as I can. And I'm actually going to hire a superstar law and order as well. So in this case, I'm just going to save everything, and we probably won't have enough to impl implement a... Eek! <laughs> okay, highway collapses. Uh, one of the on-ramps for a major highway has suffered a catastrophic collapse, injuring several motorists and causing traffic chaos for miles. It transpires that warnings were issued several months ago about the condition of the road, but the government have not made enough funds available for maintenance. Commuters and motorists are outraged. Let them be. So I think we still need a little bit more as far as... Oh no, we can implement a flat in income tax. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to tabulate all of the tax money that's coming in. These are all rough numbers, but so we've got 51 and a half coming from the income tax. We've got, we'll say, 12 and a half coming from the sales. We've got 12 coming in from corporation tax. I'm not going to count all of these. Uh, property tax is about five. Maybe. 
maybe one and a half from inheritance, but I'm going to put that as a question mark. Actually, you don't really want to change any of these. Okay, so I need to account for about uh, 64, 76. I need to get basically $81 billion in taxes. So carbon tax. Let's say I've got 25 from a carbon tax and 67 from a flat income tax. Actually, let's go straight up to 70 from flat income because people are going to like me lowering taxes rather than raising them, so... And the big thing here is I'm actually going to ride this uh, income tax so I can lower my uh, so I can lower my deficit, and people will like me. Yeah, so I've got a 12% approval rating now, but as I start removing those other taxes, they'll like me more as I get closer to the election. So I've got a rail strike, so I'll throw some money to the rail unions, obesity's at an end, and corporate man manslaughter bill. So new bill is proposed that will allow a corporate entity to be prosecuted for manslaughter when they've been found, uh, found guilty of uh, negligence resulting in cost of life, or loss of life. Pass the law. This law is necessary to deter companies from cutting corners when it comes to the safety of their employees and members of the public. Too many people die every year from industrial accidents, and there are no re uh, lessons learned to, uh, and no brain blame apportioned. This law will be a step forward for corporate responsibility, or we can block the law. This law is unenforceable, with large companies employing many subcontractors. Legal complexities involved in applying blame for accidents will be considerable. This law may be well-intentioned, but in practice it will be an expensive waste of time that serves to line the pockets of lawyers while failing to achieve any real change in corporate behavior. Let's support the corporations. Okay, now the first thing that I want to do is see if I can implement that carbon tax. Nope. So I will throw a little bit of money to the rails, and... Actually, let's just throw all the money at the rails. And we'll go to the next turn so I can implement a GM Foods proposal. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. A number of large agricultural companies are interested in growing genetically modified food on our soil. Some food can be genetically manipulated to allow for longer shelf life in both disease and herbicide resistance. Opponents are concerned that about the potential risks associated with altering the food chain. Farmers are divided on the issue. Allow GM crops... Yeah, I'm just allowing GM crops. Okay, so now I go into the next line of my tax policy, which is to introduce a carbon tax. And I had about 25 billion set aside for that. Now what I'm actually going to try and do here is get as, many, as much of this revenue coming in for the next couple of turns as I can. Which is a little bit dangerous, but I think I'm going to be able to pull it off. And in the meantime, I'm just going to be raising raising as much as I can and my other policies. Oh, we got a capitalist plot, so we actually need to start rolling some things back. Uh, let's start by cutting corporate taxes. I'm going to have to wait a turn, so they might actually kill me. Oh, failed assassination attempt. <laughs> Secret Service agencies, uh, agents today saved you from a highly organized attempt to assassinate you. A lone sniper with a high-tech rifle was arrested just 200 feet from where you were planning a meeting. Uh, planning a meeting some teachers at a school opening ceremony. The assassin has confirmed intelligence servant suspicions that he was hired from a top-secret group of highly rich industrialists known as the Battenberg Group. It seems there are a number of extremist capitalists who want you dead and your government out of office. Be careful. And it looks like we've actually got some religious unrest as well, so I really need to get things under control. 
I don't want to do income tax yet. Let's see if we can kill the sales tax. And I've got eight political capital, so is there anything else that I can do? Yeah, all this stuff needs more for... All right, let's improve science funding because I believe, well, technology, uh, capitalists don't necessarily like it, but if I live next turn, I should be good. Yeah, another failed assassination attempt. Same group. Upgraded ca uh, credit rating, which is good. Capitalists will like me for more for that. And lower poverty because GDP is going up. So hopefully this removal, uh, getting rid of the income tax, will end the threats from the capitalists. Oh, actually, let's also get rid of capital gains. And I think I'm okay with the taxes that I currently have. <laughs> All right. Apparently that wasn't enough. You've been the victim of a carefully planned assassination. A highly skilled gunman put a bullet right through your skull using a high-tech sniper rifle when you appeared in an event to open a new school. All the clues lead to the assassin being hired by a secretive group known as the Brattenburg, or, sorry, Battenberg Group, thought to be controlled by a number of hyper-wealthy capitalists. It seems that you let your government get on the wrong side of some very powerful and rich men, and you paid the ultimate price. It's funny, actually. I've managed to I've managed to play Canada, where I basically become undefeatable in elections, but I'm having trouble doing it this time around. All right, let's take a look at what we've got online. I think I'm going to be done for tonight. I wanted to get a little bit more democracy in, but I notice I'm starting to go through the motions in the game, so I think this might be a good time for us to to wrap it up. Let me just see if there's anybody I can host tonight. If there isn't anybody good, I might try and go a little bit longer, but um, let's host Clara, actually. So yeah, um, this is it for me tonight, guys. Sorry, again, it's another fairly abrupt ending, but uh, I think, um, I don't know, we got a couple of rounds of Democracy 3 in. It was fun. Uh, Adventure Capitalist was neat to talk about, so it's a little bit of a shorter stream tonight. That's just a reflection of the later start. Uh, we will be back. Uh, normally this would be back on Friday, but because I'm out of school, I'm going to try and do another stream in between then. Maybe Wednesday. I think the better thing for me to do is to announce on Twitter. I'll maybe do it during the afternoon when I, uh, I know when I'm going to be available. So if you're not following me on Twitter yet, it's the same name, uh, at System Chalk. If you haven't followed the channel already, feel free to hit the follow button if you'd like to see what's going on. Uh, we probably won't do Democracy 3 again next week, or uh, on whatever the next streaming day is. It'll probably be Shadowrun Dragonfall. We're getting close to the end of that one. But uh, for now, I think we will end on the note of my horrible assassination at the hands of capitalists. And I will pass you off to Seriously Clara, who might be doing a balloon right now. But basically, the owner and host of Team Panda, a good friend and a wonderful streamer. So on that note, thanks a lot for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed Democracy and Adventure Capitalist. And we'll see you again sometime during the week for some more streaming. Have a good one, guys.